You mentioned Heart of Darkness, and of course uh, Walden is 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 throughout. Um, and and I'm wondering, well, first of all, if if Walden, if the book, I have to go out and I want to go out and read it again now, um, has been with you from the start of the concept of this, and also if there are other um, other um, uh, literature, literary references, film references in the making of the film. I, at one point, the first time they were in the hotel, when you didn't see anybody, of course, I'm thinking of. Um, um, uh, the, you know, the Shining, and uh, it just because, well, because we're showing Room 237 tomorrow night, I guess, and it's in everybody's <laughs> mind. But I'm, I, I was thinking, all of a sudden, I was getting these little, you know, riffs off other films. So I don't know. Do you have a lot of other, like, you know, films that you were thinking of that you might have been referencing at some point or other, or literature or things like that? And you don't have to say exactly what they were, if it was, but just yeah. are these things in your head? No, I, I don't ever knowingly reference yeah. another work. I mean, I, I know. I mean, I, I'd be naive to think that. I mean, I'm informed by the same things that everybody else is, and so I mean, if if I have a corridor shot, I'm sure I'm stealing from every corridor shot that and that I've ever seen. Um, so I mean, that I mean, that's all in there. Uh, as far as Walden itself, um, I I tripped into something weird with Walden because all I really wanted was once I had this plot that's set in the natural world, and and I've got I know I've got this. I've got to I've got to force this character to write and rewrite a, a book of some kind. So what is this book? That's that's almost I mean, and it needed to be something that suggested uh, peacefulness and and uh, you know something that wouldn't wake somebody up when they're in, under the state of suggestion or open to suggestion. Uh, that's why I picked it. I had no I I had no <laughs> I don't understand why it was became so appropriate. Um, and when I started looking through it, and I'm seeing all of this language of of you know the sun is but a morning star and a halo over my shoulder and even the, you know the, the the colors that were picked in the film to to um, you know we start from a place of this this blue substance and this uh, so blue was our 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 suggestion of control and so every occurrence of of I mean me and Tom Walker the production designer like spent way too much time worrying about this stuff knowing because we were going to go we were going from blue to to yellow at the end and yellow was going to be our our um, you know, the, uh, somehow the cycle is broken, or there is an awakening of some kind. That was we were going to go to the to the yellow orchid. That was the vision that she would have, and the, and the, there were there were other things as well. But um, that that was a known thing from the get go, from the script stage. And then suddenly to find a sentence in Walden that says blue mixed with prevailing yellow of the sand. It's like what? I don't know what that is. Why would, why is that in there? Um, <laughs> and then everything else. I mean, you know. And then when it became clear that she would be repeating these lines from Walden, and that's all that she was ever gonna, she was gonna be repeating back the, what she'd been imprinted with, um, and without any more information than that, then I, I go looking in Walden for these lines, and there's, you know, um, for want of food and also, oh, for want of food and also sleep, which, you know, she, she had been without under that situation, and just, I don't it became much more, more and more appropriate. It talks about sound and the way that sound works underwater, and, I, and those sequences already existed, so I don't know, I hadn't read it since high school, so I don't know if, it, if, if I somehow <laughs> stole it and didn't know it or I'm the luckiest guy in the world, but once, once, once we had that, we, we played that up.